picture randomly. I'll put in wrinkles, but this came up. Um, it's basically, um, again, kind of like the other videos. Um, just seeing, it's it's just about about patience. You got to have uh, that when you do these sort of things. As you see, a lot of cracks. Mainly, I've just done. I mean, literally about a few minutes, just going over this area and a little here. So as you can see, if I take this away. See where the cracks are. You can see where the um, they've been overdone. Obviously, as you can see, it goes darker. I like using the pen tool to cut um, pen tool um, burn tool even um, yeah the burn tool to just darken some areas up. You know, if you make it a lot darker, it more it blends in. So it's easier to do that, or you can lighten it up if you want to make it um, change that to twenty, and then get a big brush. If you want to lighten things up, might have to add it a bit bigger. So you can see you're making it. You can go too far like that. But some, if you say, "Oh, I want this bit here a bit lighter," you can just add lightness to it like that. Anyway, so I'm just going to quickly show. Um, I'll get rid of this little section here, as you can see. I'll zoom in might move the canvas so you can just see it. Uh usually the the good old um stone clamp tool, uh clone stamp tool even C keep saying that wrong. Right. So you you have to get as close as you can to get the area. So you want this area here. That's a bit too close, right. Maybe the brush is a little too big, I reckon. You can always change that down. And maybe the opacity of the brush that's you know the what the brush is um the opacity is a little bit too much i think easily changeable and it's just i coordination again so you can see like an area that you think you can't add go over here to get something and then do it here it's not going to work that's the only problem with big brushes sometimes when you get that sort of area you might be going too far off I'll have to move this and then Burn tool definitely underneath, definitely in that crease. Right, and hopefully, if I zoom out 100%, move that in. As you can see, you got that away in there. Obviously, you're going to make it darker, but you know, um, you just keep going along. You can use the a uh, bit of both, you can use the burn tool and then use the, um, the dodge tool. Um, to make it, you know, lighter, you might have to change the exposure at the top, which is the amount that is, you know, using. But look, with a few quick uh, movements, be you know, free movements with it, and you should get something like this. If you can keep going over the image, and you'll get to the end where it's totally fine. Um, this uh, works with wrinkles too. So um, yeah, hope you like this uh, video and see you next time.